This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is your past love, a message. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also comment. I do appreciate all my Capricorns out here. This is how this person is feeling about you right now from the past. This is your past love, a message. A lot of you are wondering how somebody from the past is feeling about you. Let's go ahead and get it out there. Feel free to send to the CA. I am still doing five for five questions for Capricorn. The cash app is D E E F O N D E L. The email is there, Fondella Gmail.com. We have, I want to be more than friends. Just being near you is intoxicating. I left you before you could leave me. I can't stop thinking about you. So, for a lot of my Capricorns, especially for those of you that are wondering why you've been thinking about this person constantly or why they're thinking about you, it looks like they've even made themselves unavailable. They could be waiting to try to see if they're going to make amends with you. I feel you leaving me behind. So many things remind me of you. I know I was a distraction from your pain. So for a lot of my Capricorns, um, this could be a Cancer. This could be a Pisces talking right now. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I bury myself in work to forget about you. This could be a Libra. You came closer than anyone. I want you. I'm afraid to contact you. That's why you haven't heard from this person. For a lot of my Capricorns that are wondering why they haven't heard from this person, this person afraid to reach out. This could be an Aries. We will be together again. So when your name is brought up, this person is telling people that right now y'all just on the outs and y'all are going to end up making things work. I wonder if you're happy without me. I love you unconditionally. I hope that one day you can forgive me. You and I were too young. So for a lot of my Capricorns, especially for those of you that are wondering why this connection didn't work, maybe somebody was immature in this connection. I don't know if it was you. I don't know if it was them. This person feels like you both were too immature for y'all to even make it work. That's how this person feels. I lost myself for a while. I left you before you could leave me. I wish things could be different. You were the best thing in my life. So for a lot of my Capricorns, especially for those of you that are wondering how this person is feeling, they are very regretful right now. They're wishing they would have made things work with you, but it looks like they know they fucked up. For a lot of my Capricorns, they know they might not can't come back from this. This person is watching you. We got watching, looking, stalking. For those of you that feel like this person is stalking you right now, they could be. You could have even told a friend this recently for some of my Capricorns. This person is really into you. I'm getting a lot of you right now. Focus on your self-work, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. I'm getting this where a lot of my Capricorns are at right now. They're not really wanting to deal with this person. This person is going to be calling you really soon. They could even end up calling you from a private number or... Maybe even a text number if you have this person blocked, possibly. They're definitely wanting to come back around. They're wanting to rekindle. They're wanting a new phase. They're wanting to transform. They're wanting to renew. They're wanting to restart. They're wanting to show themselves in a different light. They're wanting to show that they're not as bad as they portray themselves. But I'm getting for a lot of you right now, you're trying to heal from this person. You're trying to heal from a toxic relationship or maybe this person was just an addiction for you. For some of my Capricorns, I'm getting you're trying to heal right now. It's like they're stopping your healing process. A lot of you are making healthy choices. A lot of you are choosing self-love, self-care, and just being happy in general. I'm getting at one point you weren't a happy person dealing with this person. They brought out a bad side of you. A lot of people kept asking you, what's wrong with you? A lot of people kept telling you you're not the same prior to this person. Some of you set some boundaries. I'm getting this person had a lot of narcissist energy, so a lot of you had to set boundaries. Um, you will be finding out something very shocking really soon. This could be through a friend for some of my Capricorns. This could be through a family member. This might be through a friend or you might even just be through scrolling through social media and end up seeing this. For those of you that are getting to know somebody new right now, this person is so jealous. But I'm getting that letting go and loving you is where you're at right now. I don't see you wanting to reconcile. For a lot of my Capricorns, I don't see you wanting to reconcile right now. This person is under the impression that y'all are soulmates. They're even going back, looking at old pictures, old videos, and just old things that y'all made together, reminiscing. But it's like they messed the relationship up, and now they're trying to rebuild it. I just don't know if you're going to allow this person to come back around. I'm getting a lot of my Capricorns are done. This is pretty much it for them. We're at the moving on point. We have receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, and closure. A lot of you received your closure, and now you're good on this person. I just don't think they're going to stop chasing you. I don't think it's going to be that simple, but 
I'm getting a lot of you blocked them out. So it's only what you allow at the end of the day, of course. I do appreciate all my Capricorns. Thank you for tuning in.